guys, welcome back. This is part two to our haircut beard trim combo that we're doing. Part one, you can find in the link below, was the haircut. This is the second part that we're gonna be doing the beard trim. So just tune in and watch below. And again, link to video one is below. So click that link and check out the first video. And we're gonna start in the second one. Thank you. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a nice short beard trim. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fade in the sides that I had mentioned earlier. So even if you're like doing a haircut and the patron comes in, they have a beard and you do a fade, kind of make sure you blend it in. It just looks nice. I don't think it looks good when you just leave it disconnected like you see some people do. Now, I, I don't know if it's a, it's like they don't wanna do that thing or what, but it, it will add value to your service to just do that. So I'm gonna start with the two and I'm gonna go a little bit below the ear here. I'm just gonna essentially start papering this all up and blending this these sides here into the skin here and then once we get those blended then we'll start shaping up the beard so think of this little area right here on the beard as like a miniature fade area it's the same thing as a fade on the top of the head there but you're doing it right here on the cheek you're actually kind of going reverse so like think of this as a miniature fade i'm gonna start with the two and we go to my one and a half here same thing we'll just go about half an inch down from the two zone and half closed here and you're literally fading right up here but you're coming in reverse and going down so i got one and a half and you grab your one then you, you'll just move up a little bit each time you're moving up about half an inch half closed fully closed and then you get your half here just right toward the top there half closed fully closed super simple like i said it's going to really clean up your cuts and give it a whole new depth and I'm fully open here half open and fully closed and then i'll use my foil just very very top there and just kind of blend in that little area okay now that side is done and the same thing here on this side we start with the two the bottom here the bulk it out halfway closed fully closed and then i got my one and a half guard here about half an inch from where i did the two fully open half open fully closed and then I got one, same thing. We're just doing the fade in reverse. Same thing we did on the opposite side to the left side here. Okay. So from this point, I mentioned earlier, with the flat top, when you wanna cut the flat top even and make sure everything's all clean and not pressed down, you wanna do the same thing with a beard. You wanna make sure that you can put some volumizer in it, get it all uh, volumized up, pick it out, and then cut it and shape it. Because if you cut it and shape it before it's been volumized and picked out it's like like i said it's like cutting it when it's all matted down and hasn't been pulled out so once you do stir you, you cut it in that shape and you start pulling it out you'll have all these uneven lengths because the hair wasn't pulled out like to its length instead of all mashed together so i'm gonna grab me a pick i got some volumizer in there and then we're just gonna pick this out and get it all standing up best we can and always be sure to ask when you're using a blow dryer, anything that creates heat, if it's too hot or if it's uncomfortable on their skin. So beard's all prepped, faded in, ready to shape up. He's got a great beard. It's a nice short. He could grow it out full and long if you'd like to, but he's so graciously volunteered to have this thing sacrificed at a shorter beard for your guys' viewer knowledge. So I'll show you how I would shape this up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, like I do on all my beard trims is right here on the side of the beard temple here i like to create straight lines like nice and straight down this is one of the very few times you'll see me use a clipper on a beard trim and it's usually just for this section because i like you know it has such a long teeth pattern that when you're setting these it helps get them a nice clean set but you don't don't try to set lines on the neck especially through here with a clipper like this it's just the teeth are way too aggressive and it will chew up their neck badly so make sure if you set your lines on the neck use a trimmer like the one you see me using earlier in the film like this guy right here because it's got a special blade that's designed for necks and sensitive skin areas so think consider that before you do that all right so i set my line down you'll notice that there's a nice straight line that i've created down we're going to do that same thing you want that to be going off that natural line here so it's nice and straight so use that as a guide what that does is is you notice we remove this small pocket of hair here so when he turns like he's wearing a shirt it's got a collar and he turns his head kind of like this like that little pocket of hair is prone to getting snagged up on a lot of like the guys with beards so when you get that and clean it like that it removes that little pinch point pocket 
bit of hair and it, again it'll add a lot of value to your beard trims and you'll notice a lot of guys will be like man that feels really good and it looks aesthetically nice as well so again we'll come over here to this other side and you'll see that little chunk of hair right here is going to come out all that starting here off of my natural guide Okay, so next you want to create a nice clean neckline and the other videos I didn't mention is because the beard long and that you really don't need to worry about the neck bone because the beard's so long it's covering up all that hair is rolling into the neck so this is a great time for me to show you if it's a short beard like this I would just start in the middle with this I'm using a trimmer that's sensitive to the skin on the neck and I'm just creating a nice even perimeter around the beard I'm connecting into my lines I made over here And again, there's another really nice thing about using a trimmer like this one I had mentioned on the neck is because not only is it a softer touch blade, it's gonna get it closer too as well. Because when you come through, say you use a foil shaver or something like that to, to clean up the perimeter, like you want this hair to be really short. You don't want no long hairs because foil shavers don't tend to pick those long hairs up very well. So again, I'll start back on my middle and I'll work my way to the left now. I'm just making a nice clean perimeter here. There's my line I made over here. I really like these trailers for just this purpose right here, man, because again, you just could not get away with something like this with a lot of, even trimmers, man. They're, they're just very aggressive on me. That's why I really uh, love these. Okay, so I set my side, my under. Now, I, what I'm gonna do is I like to set my perimeter on the top. So what I'm really doing is I'm building a perimeter around going down the side, under, and then now I'm gonna create the top there. Now this is important because a lot of people mess this up think when you're doing your lines here your swooshes think corners of the mouth you don't want to go down below the corner of the mouth so you see the corner of the mouth there and you just follow the perimeter of his beard naturally there and you, like you just see there when i use my comb and brush that away just create that my swoosh there and the same thing on this side there's the corner of the mouth it's going to start right here All right, I set the perimeters uh, all the way around. I feel really good about that now is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shape this up. This one, we're just following the bushiness and what he's got. We just plucked it all up and I'm just gonna clean up the bushiness of what he's already had. So again, you see me free handing here. Clipper is fully closed and I'm only using this clipper here just on this beard. I'm not using it anywhere else. Anytime I'm freestyling a beard, what I like to do is I do half and then I like to utilize that half I did to match the other half. So get your one half done and then come over here and then you'll just kind of blend it into your other side. Take a step back, check both sides and see if it's looking symmetrical. You know, honestly, once you put a, a nice clean perimeter around the beard, like it really, that alone will, will just make the beard look so much better just by doing that. So if you don't have the utmost faith in yourself to, to, to shape it the way you're seeing me, just really at the very least making sure that you give it a good, clean, even perimeter around that in its own right will look really good. Okay, so I feel pretty good about the shape that we got here um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the mustache area I like to take my comb here and I like to comb it out and using my trimmer I'm just gonna go right above I like to do half and then switch sides and do the other half because I'm not like leaning all the way across them using my trimmer here and I'm just doing a little detail work here just kind of cleaning up any longer stragglers you see hanging on he's got a nice natural wave to his as well he's gonna come in here and then just freestyling and cleaning this up 
Okay, now we're gonna shave the perimeter. For the video, I'm gonna use a, an actual razor just cause I think it's cool to show that, but some people can only use a razor because their neck is sensitive and you can't use a foil shaver. So that, that's why I'm gonna show you with a razor just for all intensive purposes. Let me get me a hot towel here and we're just gonna set that on there. Is that okay? It's not too hot, is it? All right, let that kind of sit on there for a second. Once that towel's just sit on there for just a second, take that off and put a little bit of lather on there. Yeah, I was just gonna clean this up, my razor underneath here. shaving cream up here. All right, I'm gonna grab me some aftershave here. A little bit of the zine, all right. I'm gonna get me a little bit of beard product. We'll just put that in the ears here. And from that moment, I would take an opportunity to clean up any little wild hairs that just kind of popped out on you. All right, I'm gonna take my oil and just kind of just touch the little corners to help smooth out. Let my hair really quite get my razor to make sharp popping edges. And again, be sure to add client if they have any sort of irritation to a foil shaver because you don't want to be using this on their neck area or anything thing like that if it gives them ingrowns okay if you see when you're doing a beard trim if the client has a little bit of hair in their ear or whatever just just grab it real quick you know grab your trimmer and clean it up like it's just going to take you a couple seconds and it makes your artwork that you've created just kind of stand out and it creates you no know, value for the client as well you know they go the extra step and if you're willing to clean up their ear hair and all the little nooks and crevices okay so from there the beard is done now we're just going to put a little bit of product in the hair and then we'll be good to go. So like I had mentioned earlier with the flat top the cut itself is so short that the hair is just sticking up so you don't really need a ton of product at all but I'm going to use just a matte stronger hold product dial it into the top. The reason I you know I'll do my product last like that is because when you're doing their beard obviously their head's laying down and you don't want to mash and product into their head while they're laying down. But that's why I'll just do this in the final stage here. Yeah. I got some product in there. I feel pretty good about that. Product's in. Now I'm going to aid his neck. So I'll put a towel down. I'll grab another warm towel and we'll just set that right here on his neck. And let that sit for just a second. And again, something I mentioned earlier, you know, while well, that's sitting there, something to add value to your service. I've noticed his eyebrows looking pretty, pretty wild. So I'm gonna come in here and you know, just use my shears and I'm just gonna clean these up a little bit. And you know, most clients won't ever complain to you about trimming up their eyebrows, but I do recommend just ask before you just go at it because sometimes some guys aren't a big fan of trimming their eyebrows, but a bulk majority of them will be. Just be sure to ask before you just go at it. Cool. And then from there, we're gonna finish up his neck. Get a little bit of shaving cream here. Just get this all shaved up. aftershave you know so i put the aftershave all the way up here because earlier you know you i used my foil shaver and that takes it down to the skin so i'm still going to treat it as if shaved it with a, an actual razor so putting a little aftershave up here is going to really be beneficial to your haircut okay so from that point forward we're good to go
right, thank you guys again. If you've made it this far in the video and you've watched us all the way through and seen all that we've done today, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all you guys that have been liking and subscribing to the channel lately. It's really awesome. It makes us feel more encouraged to create more content for you guys out there. So the more that y'all like and subscribe to the channel, it's only gonna help encourage and motivate us to create more content for you guys. So again, you know, if you have ideas, uh, requests, things that you think would help be beneficial to us in the channel, please just leave it in the comments below. And if you are not already, hit that like and follow button and thank you so much. And we appreciate you tuning in and spending the last bit with us tonight and have a good evening. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to part two uh, of the haircut. Uh, uh, haircut beard.